Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how you can perform message passing between components. So first I will be demonstrating the, the concept with the help of private property. Then I will be converting that private property into public property so that you can understand how through one lightning web component we can pass value to another lightning web component. So jumping to Visual Studio Code. So here, like for previous demonstration, I created two components, child and parent. So I will be reusing them. So I am on child.html. So here I'm removing this code and I'm writing hello, then comma. So I'm just clicking on this explorer so that it will be available in the whole page. So here I'm writing hello and then a property first name and then exclamation sign. So hello is a plain text that will display as is and first name is a property that will be changing its value as per the value assigned in the JavaScript file. So this is my child.html. Now I'm jumping to child.js. So here I'm removing this code and here I'm creating the first name property. And here I'm assigning first name as Sanjay. So this is a property which I declared in JavaScript. And this property is having value as Sanjay. And uh, if I save this code, so that property will be rendered on this child uh, HTML file. Right now, I'm going to implement the parent component. So in the parent component here, you can see, I just implemented a lightning card. So this I also demonstrated in the previous video. So here we have div, which is having a class, then we are calling the child component. So from here, I'm just removing this parameter. And from here also, I'm removing this parameter. So why I remove that parameter? Because in child component, the JS, is having this property and this property is not annotated with at the rate API. So this property will be treated as private property, right? So it is a private property, right? So if a component is having a private property, then you cannot expose that property to other component. So it means parent component won't be able to access that property to assign any value, right? But the child component we can use in the parent component and whatever is available in child component that will be rendered with the help of this parent component. So I called child component twice, right? So two outputs will be available on the UI and that output will be based on this first name property. It is having Sanjay. So Sanjay will be rendered twice. So output will be hello Sanjay and in next line it will be displayed again like hello Sanjay because here we are calling the child component twice. So after these changes, I just need to redeploy the components. So first I am right clicking on the child component. So this child component will be deployed from source to all. And after that, I need to deploy parent component. So I right clicked and I'm selecting deploy source to all. So both the components are deployed. So right now I'm just demonstrating you the use of private property. Like if you have created private property, so you cannot expose that to other component. So I'm jumping here. So this output is available here. So this I demonstrated in the previous video. Now I am just refreshing the page and you will see the different result. So you can see hello Sanjay, hello Sanjay is available twice because the parent component is calling child component twice. So this was about private property. Now, if you want to pass masses from parent component to the child component. So in previous video, I showed you that with the help of getter and setter. Now, if you don't want to implement getter setter and you just want to use a simple property that we declared here as first name, so what you can do, you can just annotate it with at the rate API, right? And if you annotate it with at the rate API, so at top you can see API functionality is all automatically imported. 
right now first name is public because we are using at the rate api decorator with it so now what we can do in this parent component here i can just pass the value so i am just going to use first hyphen name and equals to so here i am going to pass vikas okay so remember like if you are using first name so everything will be in small case so here uh, we are using camel case camel case means first word is small and second word onwards first letter is capital but when you are using this property here so it will be using kebab case in kebab case everything will be in small letter and if you have more than one word so they will be separated with hyphen so i'm just going to copy it and pasting it and here i am writing uh, first name as arush so here i just used uh, these uh, component wise so if you want to have it for one more time so you can just copy and paste so here i can write one more uh, i can pass one more first name uh, like i am passing a third so here like child component i called three times in the parent component so three output will be rendered on the ui right so this way i hope you understood if you have created a property so i am not talking about getter and setter they are different this is just a property and it is declared as public using at the rate api and if i call this component in the parent component or in any other component so at the time of call i can just pass the value to that property because it is declared as at the rate api so that became became the public property and public property can be exposed to other components as well right so with this like you got to know with at the rate api like property can receive value from uh, like components uh, like we received record id earlier uh, now we are just uh, receiving value from other components so from record page you can receive record id into public properties and from any other component you can just receive values like we are passing value from parent component to child component so now first of all i am going to redeploy child component so i am selecting deploy source to org because i modified the javascript of this component and now i am going to redeploy parent component because it is also modified so it is being deployed from source to org and uh, uh, this time like these default this default value won't be displayed it will be overridden because parent component is passing values to each child instance that we are using here so if i jump here and if i refresh the page so you will see three outputs here with different first names so you can see hello vikas hello arush and hello athar so this way three different names are displayed here on the components right so this way i hope you understood how we can pass messages uh, between components so uh, one thing you need to remember if you want to pass messages from one component to another so you need to make that property public with the help of at the rate api then only you will be able to expose that property to other component and the other component can pass value to the previous one so here we created child component where the uh, property was public uh, declared and uh, when we called child component in the parent component so parent component was able to pass value to that uh, public property and if you use more than one instance of that child component so you can pass different different values to that public property so this is all about how we can pass messages uh, between components in lightning web component